What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. We're starting off the morning at the ranch because well that is where our project for this video lies and that is the golf cart sitting behind me. As you guys know now at the ranch we have the mini truck although I still got to work out some kinks on that thing figure out why she's still running a little bit rough but before we had the mini truck we had the golf cart and we did a heck of a lot with this old girl. Me and Chris bought this I don't even know at this point six seven eight years ago. Let's see 2016 2015 somewhere around there and well we paid 400 bucks for it. The batteries were in great shape, lasted for freaking years up until right before we moved to the ranch, I ended up putting new batteries in it just because it sat for so long. But we got a heck of a deal on this thing and I've got way more than my money's worth out of it. Now, I used to live in the very suburbia of suburbs and couldn't really drive golf carts around, especially not ones that weren't street legal like this. So I made a little landscape management decal that I put on the side of here and like the OGs to the channel will remember this because all the landscaping crews in the community all had golf carts and obviously they never got bugged by the cops because they were working. So I made those decals, put them on the side. I used to hang a little yellow vest off the back there. And well, even on Saturdays, my landscape company would work and we would drive all the way to the mall because you know, that's that's where the work is. So right when I moved out to the ranch, um, I bought this little trailer for it and it, it was great. You know, it helped move a bunch of stuff around. It was a dump trailer. It's how I used to get the lawn clippings away from the lawn and away from the animals so they didn't eat all the fresh lawn clippings. And it served its purpose for quite some time. Now, this thing has not been babied. She has been beat pretty hard out here. Uh, Dedek and Snow beat the crap out of it. Most pretty much everybody that drives it beats the crap out of it. It's still freaking going. However, I noticed a couple issues the other day. I went to move it and well, see there, she got one tire off the beanie. This tire's flat and I'm like, I don't even wanna deal with it. These tires are bald. They're freaking golf course tires. We're out here in the dirt. We need a little bit of knobbies. Like at this point, it's probably cheaper just to buy, well, maybe not cheaper, but it's probably just quicker just to buy a whole new set of tires. And then I'm like, well, if we're gonna buy a whole new set of tires, we might as well lift this thing. Well, if we're gonna lift this thing, we might as well make it nice. And well, it doesn't really have to be the work vehicle anymore because we got the old uh, mini truck over there. So let's just make it like the nice cruiser for the neighborhood. And that's what we're gonna get started on. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it, we did buy a rear seat flip over, a little flatbed for it when we first got here. And then we went to go pull Dedek's Jeep out one day that was kind of kind of stuck on a stick. And we ripped the entire rear end off, which also ripped off the hitch that I was using to tow the trailer with. So I've been using a old tie down there and a bungee cord and this is not the ideal setup let me tell you this is like almost impossible to back up for one and it just digs into the ground horrible horrible we got to get this into my truck because i don't feel like towing my trailer today so it obviously doesn't really drive with the tire off the bead we're going to use the mini x to pick it up we're going to use my wall there it's hopefully a loading dock the trailer's kind of in the way on like the right height so we still got like a solid 14 16 inches that we have to get up into the bed we don't want to damage the bed this this should get interesting. We'll get this moved out of the way. You stay there. I've already got it chained up because I had to move it from the side of the house. So I've got it here set to where I can just use a thumb on the Mini X, come in, grab it, pick this whole thing up. We'll truck it around over there and then wish me luck. And of course, when you're about to do anything remotely sketchy on the ranch, that is when all of the animals come out because, you know, it's a lot more fun when you have an audience. Rest the donks down there. We got big Walt over there, and then of course everybody's favorite Willie. What's up, Willie? Good morning, buddy. Willie, are you gonna be my spotter? I need you. You gotta get the little flags they have at Home Depot. All right. Oh, well, maybe your ears will work. Yep, yep. Just keep practicing. There you go. All right. So that means right. Yeah. We got the baby goats. Baby goats doing a little scouting. Does everything look all right in there, guys? We good? I believe I was looking for all of these fittings the other day. I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of air conditioning here. That way you guys got a clearer shot. You're not looking through a dirty windshield. All right. Let's grab her. Oh, come on, we... There we go. Even the chain out a little bit and... Oh, oh, oh. A lot of it, a lot of it. There we go. All right. Okay, it's gonna be very interesting because we have the party lights that run right here. So I can't really get the boom all the way over. I have to like go up and over, re-grab the chain. Huh. I feel like I need to make some makeshift ramps for this thing. It would probably make life a lot easier. And it might drive up even with the one tire being popped off the bead there. I mean, the wheels are already screwed up, so it's not like I'm worried about scratching or denting or anything on the wheels. However, all my lumber is all the way down at the entrance and I don't really want to go that far. There's slim pickings over here in this pile, but 
these boogers might just work right here. Let's see. Yeah, what what could go wrong here? Now nah, we're getting somewhere, guys. We'll just tuck this yeah, wait, um, somewhere, somewhere real, real neatly. There we go. All right, golf cart. We need a whole lot of cooperation out of you. All right, you, you, you go back right there. Yep, you stay there. Um, I might as well just. You're not really doing a whole lot. We'll leave you there. Okay, let's see if she moves. Put her in reverse. Oh, okay, she's kind of driving. All right. Oh, 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 hold up, oh, we're kind of wedged on the tire. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, this is working great. Oh, this is working great. Oh, yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're making it. And I couldn't really get straight on with the ramps because this tire is just like drifting sideways as I'm trying to back up straight or uh, get aligned with it, I should say. Now, if I had real ramps, I would totally just go for it. You got it. Get it up there. Oh, geez, now we lost our chance. Now we're going to get caught up on that. Oh, 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 making progress. Okay, I, I think I can live with that. So I think we can pick the back up now and push it in with the Miniac. Kinda gonna fight the roof here. Oh, I'm sorry, roof. Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting a little sideways, getting a little sideways. Oh, geez. Oh, we're so close. I'm just gonna have to push these lights. If we break a light, we break a light. Oh, is the weight on? Can I adjust? We might be in a good enough spot here. We might be able to throttle and get on. Let's see what happens. Let's go a little forward. Will she go? Oh, we are in, guys. We are in. Probably put some wood down so the wheel doesn't tear up the line X. I don't know if it's gonna make it up on that. We got a little bit of uh, some half inch plywood here. Probably, hopefully, be able to get up on that a little easier than the two by. Let's see if we can do that with this. Okay, this might work. This might work. There we go. There we go. All right. Call that pretty good right there. Whew. I'll take this with me. It's gonna come in handy later. You, I, don't, I really don't like you. You, you stay down there. Uh, I think you guys will move over enough. We can close the tailgate. I'm happy. If there's one thing I've learned, living in the middle of nowhere, you definitely gotta be pretty self-sufficient. Doing stuff by yourself without having an extra hand. And then the days that you do have an extra set of hands, you are very grateful. On our trip here, we uh, almost lost the roof. The bolt came out that held the back support here for the roof. Uh, the nut on this guy has been off since, I don't know, I think since we've owned the thing, but got a little wild there going down the freeway. Now, here comes the fun part. Will we be able to get this thing off? Number one, without damaging anything. Um, and number two, you know, the forklift. Let's widen out the forks just a little bit here. I don't wanna go too much. Oh yeah, long forks would definitely come in handy right now. I'm barely gonna get a grab on this. I don't think it's gonna be enough get her to drag back with me. Let's do a little combo here. I'm gonna use a strap. I could probably push this thing on, honestly. Gotten her pretty far back. Let's set her down. and see how far we can get those forks underneath. I'm certified now. I can oh, you're certified? You want, you want to do it? Okay, on your truck. <laughs> we'll do it out of your truck. Very nervous, Sergio, I'm very nervous. Feel like I should strap it. Yeah, that's, that's a better spot. So our tie down point up top there sucks, but if we can get it to pick up, not looking good so far. Oh, we got it, Sergio. Sketchy, sketchy. Easy. <laughs> Whoa. 
All right, Sergio, touchdown. You did it, buddy. This is how the mini truck's gonna look in a couple months. Easy guy. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Now I screwed up guys. Uh, I meant to actually pressure wash this thing before bringing it in the shop But I got too excited dropped it in here uh, Plus I don't really want to like pressure wash all this crap onto the forklift So we're probably just going to pull her apart here then we'll worry about pressure washing her Since we're gonna end up getting faces full of dirt. Oh, this should probably uh, be in front here Oh, now my fingers are stuck. Okay, we got them. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Good as new. Let's show you guys the lift kit. I actually have not opened this box and I hope everything is correct for it. Um, the wheels and tires are not here yet. Those should be here either, well, they're supposed to be here today, between today and two days from now. So I'm hoping tomorrow these things show up. So in here, we got the infamous Amazon box inside of a box. Now there's multiple ways you can lift golf carts just as with vehicles. Um, there was a spindle lift, which is really the cheapest way, you know, um, they've been around forever. Like, 350 or so dollars you can get a spindle lift kit or for like 150 dollars more you can get an a-arm lift kit but not the crazy goofy like long travel kits that everybody had back in the day and just made the golf cart you know totally sit like that and looked all goofy um this i believe is cleaner so let's see here we got a lot of foam i figured there'd be a lot more parts than there is foam let's see we got some warnings all right always wear an approved helmet yep we're definitely going to be doing that in a golf cart that goes eight miles an hour there's not a ton of parts <sighs> they're all covered in the foam that kind of exploded on here um so this is from rocks rocks it's got a rhinoceros on it you can't go wrong with anything that has a rhino on it let's get our pieces pulled out here we've got our whole bracket assembly here with our upper arms pretty stiff pretty stiff I'm assuming this is for the rear don't really know that looks like a rear piece as well and then we've got I'm assuming that's for steering and then I believe those are our shock mounts so this is considered a six inch lift kit. Um, I wanted to run some pretty big wheels and tires on this thing. So I went with the six inch over like the three inch or whatever else that they offer. And wait till you guys see these wheels and tires. They look freaking sick. Well, they look sick in the pictures. I hope they're sick when they show up. Okay, as bag is saying, we should have uh, two bags of hardware. I see one bag of hardware. Hopefully we just consolidated everything to one bag of hardware. Alrighty y'all, nothing to it but to do it. Well, let's get this old girl jacked up. Put a couple of jack stands underneath her. There we go. Step number one, pull the wheels off. Off with these old crappy wheels and tires here. This one could probably be safe. This one I think just needs a little air in her. Alrighty. Oh yeah, look at all that. Nice spider webs in there. Ooh, this one's got one of the original hubcaps. All right. Tire number two, off. Now we take the front bumper off here. Thought I was gonna have to do this alone, but we've got the second idiot to two idiots garage here. You getting fueled up on your Boston baked beans? There you go. That's it. Next up here, we gotta take a uh, disconnected tie rod ends. If I can find the end of this cotter pin. Come on, come on. We're so close, we're so close. Oh, squeeze you a little bit more. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. All right, we're out. Oh, and the battery dies. So we got this tie rod off. Now the steering knuckle is off. We need to pull off the shock assemblies, which I believe is that bolt right there and that booger up there. So far, so good, guys. We've got shock assemblies off of both sides. Now we need to take the steering rack out from there. We got to pull off both lower arms here. And then that's pretty much it for disassembly, at least in the front. Now I don't know if this thing's just supposed to hang here, or do I like disconnect it from that knuckle right there? Just says remove the bolts. Doesn't say pull out the whole thing. What's that? You done? Uh, I don't know, are you done with your snacks? All right, all right, bye. My boss is tough over here, guys. It's rough working in these conditions. Oh yeah, all right. Oh, you can get you a more comfortable supervisor chair. Now that all of our disassembly is done, we are ready to start putting some stuff on. So we've got the shock tower right here in place, and then we gotta mark up through this hole, all the way up 
to mark right here because we have to drill a hole for a bolt. I think that's going to sandwich this entire thing together. So not the easiest way to mark here, but we'll get her done. Put our factory shock bolt back in. Hold her there. Okay, now we get to put this big drop A-arm assembly in place. We're gonna use the existing hardware from the old arms. Turn this booger back to whichever way. Oh, jeez, this is like all kinds of not gonna fit. Um, you know, we're gonna do a little prying here. Try and get this in. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot to move these. What? You just killed one spider. Is there another one? Don't be, don't get too up and close <laughs> with it. <laughs> I just got bit by some skeeters a second well, I'm ago. Like, I'm like watching like the, the rest of the webby and like your shorts are open. I'm like, that would be a bad night. <laughs> this is like a, we're in a twilight zone right now. Zach's sitting watching me work. How's it feel? You're gonna get bored, trust me. You're gonna get bored. It's like four volts. <laughs> yeah, go finish that thing. I'll have this done before that thing's done. That thing's been here for seven months. Oh, you're gonna kill me with fumes? <laughs> okay. Why are you fighting me, huh? Last one didn't fight me. Somebody told me like you don't get the anti-perspirant because it's got aluminum in it and it oh. causes cancer. And oh, now, no. I, now I smell. <laughs> Like everything else you do in life is not going to cause cancer. We're worried about the deodorant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the washing my hands with brake clean is doing great. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, buddy. Go, 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 go. NASCAR. NASCAR. Here. I don't remember what size it was. We haven't adjusted anything yet, Christopher. It's called the lightning. It's also a super, super bent wheel there. The fact that like none of the front end parts that I took off and put on were really tweaked, really surprised me. I figured this thing would have been really, all kinds really, of... Really hard to hurt the stock off curve. You say that. <laughs> I mean, I've personally seen what this poor thing's gone through. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, these wheels aren't supposed to fit on here, but Zach threw a couple of uh, washers on there. Wheel spacers. His, his wheel spacer kit right there. So it's enough to set it down on its wheels right now. Obviously, you know, hopefully in the next day or so, we get the big wheels and tires, but this will allow us to set it on the front, and then we can go you know, tear good. the rear apart. You think the alignment's <laughs> a little off? What'd you do to it? That, that was the curb. I remember when uh, we threw the alignment just a hair out of whack. Remember, we got some adjustments still there. In the Zach, you're the king of alignments, Zach buddy. Wins yep, there we go. Zach's got this. It's looking better, Zach. That's looking a little better. See, guys, I do all the hard work. It's what you don't see on the channel. Like, I did all of this, and then Zach shows up for the last little videos. <laughs> Tightening things here and there. You guys, think, you guys think I built this super duty. Yeah. Zach just turned a wrench or two for the camera. It's like a glamour shot. We're trying to take some Tinder pictures for him. Oh, just got us heavy. <laughs> go for it. We'll pull the jack stands out. One, two, three. Look at that. Hey, hey. She's, she tooted. So we've got the rear jacked up here now. Zach's going to try and pop that tire back on the bead. Who put these jack stands? Jeez, guy. That's the only place that they can go. Really? You can't go further back? No. We just made a big, if you're not, big teeter-totter. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start tearing the back apart. Now, my original plan here was to not have to take the rear seat off. Obviously, she needs a lot of love, but I didn't really want to have to pull this whole erector set apart. However, the only way to get to the rear shocks is you have to go through this access panel right here, and, well, you can't get to it with this on, so I've already removed the top bolts. Should have removed the bottom ones first, but whatever. Let's get this thing pulled off. See when this just pops off, maybe? Kinda, sorta. Oh, oh, no, 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 that is spiders. Look, big spider right there. So in the instructions, they're totally doing this on a golf cart without the body on it. As you guys can see, they can very easily get to everything. Um, obviously for pictures, but it really made it easier. Didn't wanna take the body off, so I got the access panel off, and I'm like, man, there's a lot of spiders and spider webs in there. Uh, let me try to pull the bag well off, and that should open up a lot of space here. So after pulling all those uh, little clips out and pulling that thing off, we realized that there's just golf cart body in the way. So I don't want to pull the golf cart body off. That means the roof's got to come off, the seat's got to come off, all kinds of stuff. It's just not worth it to me at this point. I'm sure at some point, 
you know, I'm gonna do something stupid like decide to paint this thing or vinyl wrap it all crazy. And then at that point, the body's probably gonna have to come off anyway. Until then, we're gonna make this easy. So first thing we gotta do, so we gotta remove the rear connecting rod, which is this booger right here. And then remove the shocks, drop the axle, put the little lowering, raising, lifting, whatever, five inch, six inch piece in there, and then bolt it all back together. Okay guys, it is a tight squeeze in here. I don't know how much you're gonna see on camera. I'm also trying not to get eaten by spiders. Spider, spider, spider. We've dropped the axle, top shock bolts are out. Now we gotta, wherever, wherever this big U thing went, without arcing it on anything. And it's really gonna be fun to squeeze up in there. This is our new shock mounts. That goes to the old shock mount. I get That's why the they said shark. make sure the carpet's uh, turned off. This <laughs> There's a lot of wires in there to short out. It does smell like cat pee, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that earlier. Apparently the cats really enjoy the golf cart. Man, I wish I had a garage. We're both getting bit by spiders tonight, Zach. We die like men. Because you know we're going to be allergic to it. Oh yeah, whatever it is. Almost hurt it out. Oh shit, almost hurt it out again. <laughs> I hate electricity almost as much as I hate spiders. It's got them, them big, dude, seriously, hurry up or I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> Just drop it, I don't care. <laughs> there's no need to die, man, for the golf cart, all right? Drop it if there's a spider. Dude, when we first bought this thing, we put it in the bed of Chris's truck, went inside to eat dinner. Within two hours, there were 4,000 brown widow spider webs connected to his truck. This thing lived in his truck overnight after 14 cans of bug spray. And then I pressure washed it three more times, put it in my garage the next morning. So many spider webs, I built a lake or a moat <laughs> of bug spray all the way around it. And it took like a solid month before there were no more spiders. And then I brought it back out to the country and well, it now it's got spiders again. All right, Bubba, where are we at? Come down, oh, way down. Did you see a spider? It's dead now. Uh, all right, uh, I can't see. I feel spiders, but I can't see. They're there somewhere. <clears throat> We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch. All righty, y'all. Well, we have oh, the rear all back together. Well, the suspension-wise, obviously, we still got to finagle what we're going to do here. This thing needs a whole deep cleaning, so that'll happen tomorrow. Oh, you, you just reset it? Maybe? Yeah. All right. Obviously, we're putting the stock tires on right now. Just so we can move this thing around. Clear! This thing sits pretty high, especially considering we're going from like 12 inch tires or what it is about 12s to 23 inch tires on 14 inch wheels. So we're gonna go up quite a few more inches. Yeah. Now you're supposed to order the heavy duty rear springs when you do this, especially if you're gonna have a rear seat. I did not do that. But now that I look at how easy the shocks are to swap out. I'm not doing that. So Zach, that was fun. Remember all the fun we had? I do remember. Yeah, remember the fun? I mean, I had a lot of fun. I'm taking anything off of this because it's put on back. All righty, y'all. Well, last night we got uh, pretty much the entire lift kit all buttoned up. Tires have still not shown up today. Tomorrow's kind of the last day in the window that they gave me of them arriving, so I'm banking on the fact that they're going to get there tomorrow. However, the golf cart is already looking a lot sicker. She looks like she's leaning a little bit, but that's because the roof is kind of weird. And the flat tire on this side wasn't helping. So I've got the 12 volt Milwaukee inflator filling her up. I'm a big fan of the 18 volt now that I own it. So I just leave this one around the shop for quick little fill ups like this. And now I'm gonna go through and deep clean this thing now that the sun's kind of gone down and it's not a million freaking degrees. Let's get all that cat pee smell, poop, whatever else kind of crap is in this thing. <laughs>
Well, she definitely looks a million times better after her bath. The unfortunate thing is this thing's not in perfect condition, and I knew that going into this. This was a maintenance cart at an apartment complex, so I'm sure it already had a pretty rough life before we got a hold of it. And there's always been some scuffs and stuff on the actual body plastic itself. And then the seat was in pretty horrible condition because it's got a bunch of paint stains from when paint cans and stuff would spill on the seats, on the floor right there. I went around with some uh, Purple Power degreaser though and actually got these things the cleanest they have ever been. Uh, now I got quite a conundrum here. We all know Rhino always makes things way too nice. And this is a ranch golf cart, but how nice do I want to make it? Like do I want to pull these seats off and have them custom upholstered to make them look all sick? Or is that just going to make a really nice cat bed slash goat hangout area because we found a bunch of goat poop back here. So apparently the goats have been climbing all over this thing and having fun too. The goats actually do like to go for rides in the golf cart though. They'll jump up in there with you and cruise around. So do I make it really nice but I don't have a garage to keep it in? Or do I make it ranch-ish nice? Like I don't need a ranch work vehicle anymore because we have the mini truck. So this thing can just be like the ranch cruiser. <sighs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Now one thing that I'm pretty sure I'm going to take off is this freaking windshield. Windshields are great when it's cold out or it's raining. But any type of vehicle like this or a side by side or anything like that, from what I've experienced, is they basically just swirl the dust in there with you. And there's no way for the dust to pass through because, well, your windshield's blocking the air that would clear out the cab. I don't particularly like having windshields on stuff like this. So I think we're gonna end up taking this off. And then I gotta figure out what's going on here because it looks like this booger has stripped out. And apparently at one point there was a little rubber plug that went here as well. And well, we don't really have that. We just got a little bit of damaged uh, fiberglass or plastic or whatever's going on there. So I always thought there was a nut that goes in here, but it kind of just looks like this piece threaded in. I don't know if you guys are going to see it into this brace down here. That threaded in first, then you slid this on and tighten it from the top. So I'm assuming that stripped out. First things first, so let's just get this windshield off. However the heck this thing's on here. It literally looks like it's just clipped on, but it does not want to move. Why are you so hard to kick off? Like there's no screws. There were screws at one point, but there's currently no screws. Okay, one of these little bottom brackets was broken. I pulled the other one off slash broke the other one off. I think we can get the windshield out this way. Urgh, come on. Come on, there we go. Whew. Still have no clue how these freaking side brackets come off. I went ahead and put a bolt in the back there on the back roof support and that basically got everything kind of sitting straight again. It looks a lot less goofy. No, that's not all. Oh, catawankus. That's all I have time for tonight. So hopefully tomorrow morning or tomorrow at some point, the uh, wheels show up. Okay guys, I'm so stoked to show you these. The wheels have shown up, they look Freaking killer. Let's just jump straight into the boxes here. And we've got some turf here, and I'll show you guys why I have turf in a second. This may or may not be a good idea. I don't really know, but we'll, we'll jump on the, the turf remnant there. Get ready for the sexiness that is in this box right here. I went with as big a wheel and tire combo as I could put on this thing. I hope they fit. Supposedly it all works. I don't know, because these things are freaking massive. They are from Mods, or I guess that's the company Mods, from Golf Cart King. Again, ordered them up on Amazon. They shipped from Golf Cart King, but just ordered them through Amazon. Dun, 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 Look at those bad boys right there. Quality on these things rivals a lot of truck wheel manufacturers I've seen out there. They have like this machined um, texture into them. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. See how it's like ribbed for her pleasure. These things are super, super sick. So these are 14 inch wheels on 23 inch tires, which again is as big as you can go on this style of setup. Um, and probably as big as about they sell for golf carts before you start jumping into like the full ATV or UTV tire stuff. Now, they cost a little bit more than I had planned on spending. I was thinking like five, 600 bucks for wheels and tires, four or 500 bucks for the lift kit and call it done. But the four or $500 tire range for golf cart tires basically gets you the same SS black and machine wheels with the just giant gaudy AutoZone looking specials that have been around since like the days of the Yamaha Rhinos. I didn't want that. So I was thinking either we go solid black Maybe we do a color, they make these in red. And I was thinking maybe we pay homage to the 05 LOI that we gave away, but I think since we're gonna be in dust and dirt, let's get a color kind of close to dust and dirt. And these like gold bronze wheels are so freaking cool. So I can pull them out here. Oh, let's get them in, oh, oh. Hopefully we didn't just crush the center cap there. Let you guys take a better look at it. I know the lighting's gonna be kind of weird here, but I'm freaking stoked for these things. Look at the size of these. Look at the size of these compared to a standard golf cart tire. Well here, we'll just put it up next to that tire and that'll show you guys the size difference we're going with here. 
Look at that. And man, do I hope we're gonna be able to turn, because that's gonna be tight. Let's get the rears put on first. Go down. Oh, you're not gonna fit. Oh, you're still not gonna fit. Okay. So it's a good thing we're going with bigger wheels and tires, because we have like zero ground clearance in the back now. All right, guess we're just doing one side at a time. Stock tire off. Pull off the tape on the back of the center cap here. Get her unwrapped. This color is freaking rad. It's gonna match Chris's truck. Ooh, these things look so sick. The only problem is I don't have the right socket that's skinny enough to get in there. Uh, I believe Zach has one in his toolbox. So if he shows up today, we'll grab his. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go to the store and get us one that'll fit in there. And even though we jacked it up that much, we are just like barely off the ground right there. This thing's gonna sit so freaking high. Just the right amount of offset. You still got, you got a pretty girthy tire there, but most of it's inside, so it's not gonna throw a bunch of crap up on you. And look at how much ground clearance we already gained. Alrighty guys, the fronts are on. Look how much higher that sits over there. Let's lower her down and see what her new ride height is. This thing's gonna be a monster. Oh, she is looking so good now. Like, I'm, I'm kind of sad that the body's in as bad a shape as is and the seat is because this thing looks freaking beefy now. Those wheels look so killer. Let me just do a little test now, hopping up in this thing. I mean, you literally like sat lower than you stand when you used to get in it. Now you actually have to hop up in this booger. The ride height is like perfect. Quick trip to AutoZone. We've got the slim or thin wall socket that we need there. This one also is a flip socket, so it's a 21 and a 19. Chris, are you a flip socket? Mm -hmm. Okay, Chris is also a flip socket. Dog, this matches your bike. Let's see if she fits. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect fit. She is all tightened down. Wanna go take her for a test ride with me, buddy? Sure. Worst that could happen is the wheels fall off yet. Well, well, and the roof, you know, we didn't, we didn't really attach the roof back yet. Can you make it all the way up here, man, with no amp steps? You gotta do the leg swing? Yeah, you just, you just hold that side of the roof on, you know? All right, Chris, we gotta be careful, you know, we're in the sky now. No sharp turns at it. Might actually have a higher top speed now that's got bigger wheels and tires. I don't really know how that calculation works, but. All right, all right, we cruising. I think it's a better height. Feel more like we're in a lifted truck. Sharp turn. Feel like it goes faster. Crawling down the ledge. Let's see. Skirt, skirt. Oh my god, dude, I thought we were going fast on it. Oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ. Travel on this thing. Jesus. Yeah, you do. We got A arms. A arms don't mean nothing. I thought you were going to like haul ass on it. I ain't jumping it, I ain't breaking it. Why not? Look at all that ground clearance you gain. And I got too excited. I pulled a Dedic. Got too excited. Things were loose. How'd it go there? Good find, buddy. Good find. Go ahead, buddy. Okay. Jesus, guy. We're trying not to lose the roof. That's why we can't have nice things. Oh, there went the bolt again. Oh. Is it really? Yeah. There's no nut. Remember, we are not dedic and snow. You know, we treat things nice around here, Chris. I feel like it does have some... It feels a lot faster, right? It's like it's quicker. Come on, I didn't even need the new speed controller for this thing. These tires are too loud. Oh, got some Toyos. This roof is too loud. I like it a lot better with no windshield. <laughs> yeah, I like how every time you turn right a little bit, me and the roof just lean with it. <laughs> I'm just seeing the roof float. <laughs> well, first test drive went great. This thing looks so, so much better. I'm super stoked on how it turned out. Now I just gotta decide what we're gonna do on uh, the body here. Do we wrap it? Do we paint it? Do we do like a Linex bed liner on it? That might be cool. I don't really know. I'd love to build a roof for it out of like some inch and a quarter tubing or inch and a half tubing, but I don't have a tubing bender. So if anybody out there is local, you know, you wanna help me bend some tubes, I'd really like to remake this and not use this janky setup that it has here and honestly that's kind of all they sell for these is the little setup that you see there now why i had this turf earlier when i first got this golf cart or when me and chris first got this golf cart i was dying to do this and chris always told me this is a horrible idea remember when, remember when i wanted to do this <laughs> now mind you i didn't live on a ranch when we got this golf cart i lived in a neighborhood and i always figured we'd be like taking this down by the beach and cruising and how sick would it be to have turf as your floor mat. Now being out at the ranch, this is probably gonna collect a lot of dust. I mean, it already has a little bit of dust in it there, but 
I don't know. I think that'd be cool. Maybe this never goes back to the ranch. Maybe this lives like, you know, we take this to shows with us. This is how we get around truck shows and stuff from now on because we sold our fat scooters. You act like we go to shows. Rona, shut the shows down for a while. Yeah. Come on, dog. Imagine being just barefoot cruising. That's pretty fluffy, right? Fluffy. You gotta admit, it's pretty fluffy. I don't know. Maybe I cut a piece. We just lay it in here and it's a removable floor mat. You know, it's like my weather tech. Alrighty, y'all. Well, with that, we're gonna wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now so that you don't miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh.